All right, still in the development unit, and we're looking at parenting styles. So you should have a chart that has like four boxes in it and says parenting styles at the top. I want you to add a couple things here. Um, one, we're going to talk about this psychologist. Her name is Diana Baumrind, and she uh, recently died in 2020, uh, unfortunately from a car accident. She was actually almost 92 years old, but has had a huge influence on the idea of parenting styles and what makes effective parents and, and that classifies parents in a way that is really interesting to look at. She's an American psychologist. So add Diana Baumrind at the top of your page. And then we're going to go through here and be looking at the different uh, parenting styles um, as, again, part of development. Because who you are as a person is hugely influenced by the environment you grew up in. We've talked about that a lot in psychology. And so there's no question that that is true. So let's, we'll be looking at that in more depth. So go ahead and write that down, her name in, that is. All right. Um, there's a couple things here that are important to remember. Um, we're going to be looking at this chart. Yours kind of looks like this. You have demanding and undemanding on the left. You have supportive and unsupporting up here at the at the top. And um, what do we mean by that? Well, she classifies parents in this terms, in, in these two terms, like do they demand? Do they not demand? Do they are supportive or are they unsupportive? So let's, let's define what that means. I want you to write these definitions somewhere on your paper. There's probably room at the bottom or maybe at the top. Um, look, look at demandingness first. So demandingness, we define that as it refers to the extent parents control their children's behavior or demand their maturity. So does the parent, you know, make demands, they make the children behave, they um, make the children's mature and, and handle things. Okay. So that's really critical. Or the kid's just out of control. The kid's just out of control. That'd be undemanding. Responsiveness means refers to the degree that parents are accepting and sensitive to their children's emotional and developmental needs. The degree that parents are accepting and sensitive to their children's emotional and developmental needs. So this has a lot to do with like being open and conversational with the child. So is the parent interested in their life and their deal, you know, talking to the child about the things the child's going through and giving the child some advice on how to handle things? Or is it just they bark at the kid every once in a while and that's it? That would be unresponsive, all right? Or the parent like never shares emotions with the child. That's unresponsive. Okay, so those are the two types of parenting um, scales that she's using to try to rate parents. Now, also another thing that's really important to understand, understand is that never is a probably a parent always one of these. Um, they probably go a little bit back and forth between a couple of them. Um, in fact, there's some evidence that Parents tend to be a little tougher on the oldest child and then start to kind of lose, uh, I don't know, momentum, if you will. And the younger child tends to be a little wilder and they're less demanding on that child. So I don't know if anybody grows up in a family where they have younger siblings and you're the oldest, but you might feel that way. Um, so there's some some uh, some evidence of that. So, so we're not to, we're not trying to put a parent or your parent, for that matter, in a particular box. Um, this is more of a general idea about like what good parenting looks like, and and we define good parenting as the child ends up being an independent adult who makes good decisions. That generally is how we end up looking at adulthood uh, in good parenting. And by the way, this comes from um, I'm of course it comes from Diane Bomberin, but I'm using parentingforthebrain.com, um, where it goes into some pretty in, in depth, um, in, in the bomber and parenting styles. All right. So let's start. We're going to start with one here on the first lesson. We'll go through I'll four short lessons on each, uh, style of parenting. All right. So here we go. First off, we're going to start with a demanding parent, but it's unresponsive. So they demand things from the kids. They demand they were mature, but they also don't really support the child emotionally. So they're emotionally distant, if you will. And this is called authoritarian. So please write that at the top. You might put it all in bold. You might use a different color, but go ahead and um, go ahead and put that in. Maybe you're using a cami doc and you're going to type it. That's fine. Go ahead and maybe put it in a different color. All right. Authoritarian. All right. So what do we, what do we mean by this? One, um, let's define it. This is actually from Baumram's book in 1967. You don't have to write this. It's an attempt to shape, control, and evaluate the behavior and attitudes of the child in accordance with a set of standard of conduct. So everything 
that the child does. It's like the parent has a very strict, rigid kind of guideline of what a child should be like, and they want that child to live up to that standard. All right, so very strict kind of set of guidelines. All right, um, what's the I kind of have like a what's the saying of this parent? Well, the authoritarian authoritarian parent, their saying, if you will, that kind of represents them is because I said so. That's why you do it. Okay, because I said so. Now, by the way, a parent might say that and not really be authoritarian parent, but at the same time, an authoritarian parent definitely has this approach, which is I expect you to do it because I freaking told you. And it doesn't matter why. Um, they don't really explain themselves. That's the key. All right. They demand obedience. So if you had to kind of think like in society, like what's the authoritarian parent? It's it. They're more of a drill instructor. Demand obedience. You will do what I say. Um, recognizing an authoritarian style. Uh, do you have very strict rules that you believe should be followed no matter what? Um, do you often find yourself um, offering no explanations for rules other than because I said so? Do you give your child few choices and decisions about the life? Why? Because you make all the decisions. The parent makes the decisions. Why? Because the, the child's stupid and is not going to make good decisions. Do you give your um, Do you find yourself utilizing punishment as the main means of getting your child to do what you ask? So the child doesn't behave because you've set up this like um, you know, expectations of behavior and you've explained it and you're like, this is why I want you to do this. Instead, it's, I punish them if they don't do it. And then are you reserved in the amount of warmth and nurturing you show your child? All right. So that would be defining an authoritarian parent. Uh, so strict set of rules, strict set of rules, punishment as main motivator, Punishment is the main motivator. And one of the negative outcomes of uh, an authoritarian parent is often outside of their vision, outside of their specific oversight, you know, when a child is not um, with the parent, often the child is very rebellious or wild. Uh, so often has rebellious children. Another outcome of an authoritarian parent is that, is that often the child has uh, high anxiety. Um, anxiety issues can be a problem, you know, coming from an authoritarian parent. And it's just very important as a parent to be balanced when it comes to demands versus support. That That's really what research shows. And so anytime you're one of these extremes where you just, you don't really support the kid emotionally, but man, you're demanding they better toe the line, then you're probably going to have some negative consequences emotionally for that child. You're either going to have a rebellious child or you're going to have a very anxious child. That's typical of what we see in research. They probably do well in school though, because, you know, or maybe not, maybe they're at school, they're rebellious. I mean, it's hard to say, but um, yeah, th this is the outcome, anxiety and potential rebellion. All right. Uh, that's authoritarian parent. Uh, we're going to look at other parents in future lessons. Thanks.